Hello, first standard. I hope you enjoyed your Eid this time. You had all the four days to yourself at home and no school, no homework, isn't it? So, because of Corona, you couldn't uh, go and visit your uncles or aunts or grandparents. You've been sitting inside the house and trying to be clean. Now, during the season of Corona, what are we supposed to do? We need to use a sanitizer. Isn't it? There are different types. This is one type. This is one type. And you will uh, put it on the palms of your hand like that. Rub it for 20 seconds. And if you don't have a sanitizer, you need to use soap and water. And then, of course, you're supposed to be not touching, not touching your nose or mouth or eyes because the infection may spread. You are supposed to be clean. Or the virus may attack you. So today's chapter, you're going to learn about being clean or the different ways in which you need to be clean. Now, before I start the lesson, I'd like to ask you, what is the first thing that you do in the morning when you get up from bed after wishing your parents a good morning or uh, namaste, whatever it is in your own way? You go straight to the toilet, isn't it? And you brush your teeth and you use a brush with toothpaste and you brush your teeth and of course then you have to wash your face with soap and then of course you use the toilet and after using the toilet remember you need to wash your hands with soap again so that you don't carry any germs with you and then you have a lovely bath using a very good soap that gives a good smell you feel outright fresh and you put on a new set of clothes and you come out of your room and begin your day now all this happens for everyone this is done by each and every one of us and just imagine a person who gets up from bed who is sloppy who doesn't go to the toilet who doesn't brush the teeth who doesn't comb the hair so that person looks dirty, isn't it? And none of us would like to uh, go near a person who's dirty or who looks dirty or smells dirty. So we all want to be clean because cleanliness is very important. If we are dirty, what happens? There may be an issue that we will fall sick. We are liable to fall sick because we are prone to get infected and especially in the season of the COVID-19 when the germs may attack us very very easily. So open your books on page 155 and the heading of the lesson is keeping clean. Now you see some pictures. The first one a girl brushing her teeth the second one, a boy having his bath and pouring a mug of water on his head. The third, a girl combing her hair. The next picture, a girl washing her hands, maybe after she has uh, used the washroom. Next girl, she is keeping her room clean, putting everything in order. Next one, a boy painting. But his book is on the floor. His book should be on the table. And the next picture, a girl, she is throwing bits of paper in the room. That is not at all being clean. That is being very dirty. And the last one, the boy is sharpening into the waste bin. Now here the question is, tick the correct action. So what is right, you need to put a tick mark. Now the girl brushing her teeth, is correct so put a tick mark there the boy having a bath is also correct 
put a tick mark there. The girl combing her hair is also right. You can put a tick mark there. The next one, the girl washing her hands with soap is also very correct. So put a tick mark there. Next picture, a girl settling her room, putting everything in order. That is also correct. Put a tick mark. The next picture of a boy drawing something on a whiteboard. But you cannot put a tick mark there because his book is on the floor and not on the table. You all keep your books on the table, isn't it? You don't put them on the floor. So this is not a correct action. Next one, you see a picture of a girl. She is throwing all bits of paper on the floor. That is not a correct action. If she has to throw the bits of paper, she has to take it and throw it in the dustbin. So that is also not a correct action. And the last one is a correct action because the boy is sharpening his pencil into the waste bin. So that is, he's not dirtying the place around him. He's doing it very neatly. So that is a correct action. Now please turn the page to 156. What is cleanliness? Now I'm going to read the text. Cleanliness means to keep yourself and the places around us free of dirt, dust and bad smell. It means to be neat and tidy. So cleanliness is only not when you brush your teeth, you comb your hair, you have a bath, you put on a neat dress and go. No, cleanliness pertains to everything around you also being kept clean. That is your maybe your house, your room, your backyard, your front yard, your compound. If you're at school, your classroom, the place where you sit in the classroom, the place under the desk, under the bench, all that has to be clean always so that you are free from getting diseases. And especially it has to be dust free and it has to be neat and clean, not with bits of paper or chocolate wrappers or biscuit wrappers lying around. And especially if it's not clean, you will get a bad smell or a bad odor coming from these places. So to prevent the bad odor or the bad smell, the place where we sit or stand or sleep, that is in short, our houses, the areas that we move around has to be kept clean. Now how will you keep yourself clean? There are different methods in how you're going to keep yourself clean. Now the first one is you see the picture of a girl taking a bath. So first one is you have to have a bath every day because as you pour water down your body, all the germs, the dust, the grime, the dirt, everything is washed off. And especially when you apply soap, there may be so many germs that have come and you know stuck onto your body or your dress or your face, all that is washed down. Brush your teeth twice every day. Now, why do we say twice every day? One in the morning so that you don't have foul smell for coming from your mouth after a night's sleep when you talk to somebody. And also before you eat food, you brush your teeth so that you clear away all the germs or microbes present in your mouth. And the next last thing is you brush your teeth before you go to sleep that is at the end of the day after you have your dinner so that there are no food particles stuck in between your tooth and in between the gums and like that because if the food particles are stuck in between the teeth the teeth begins to decay once your tooth begins to decay what happens is you will get tooth pain and then you have to go to the dentist and you have to pull out the tooth. So to avoid all this, we say brush your teeth before you in a food in the morning and after food before you go to sleep at night. Next one, wash your hands before and after eating. You see that picture of a girl washing her hands in the wash basin. Now why do you wash before? So that germs when you eat with your hands, 
the germs will be there you don't take the germs into your body and after eating to keep your hands clean because you have finished eating you need to wash your hands with soap especially if you have eaten something non-vegetarian because the smell may be there even if it's vegetarian it's good to wash your hands with soap and water very nicely after every meal comb your hair neatly now this is a very important uh, item or a instruction that we need to follow because if you don't comb your hair neatly and keep it in place it will be flying around and the more it is let loose the more it attracts dust and grime and dirt and also if uh, you're going to school and somebody's usually it's with girls they have you know louse in the hair or pluralist lice it spreads from one person to another so to protect your hair or from getting lice or louse you have to comb your head daily hair daily and keep it very neat and clean and in case you get infected with lice there are special medicated shampoos which you need to use to kill the nice uh, sorry lice and the nits nits are the eggs laid by the lice do not pick your nose now that is you don't have to pick your nose that means you don't have to clean your nose when you are in the public you can do it when you are in the washroom when you are going to have a bath you can just clean your nose every day but do not do it in public or outside the uh, washroom because that doesn't look so very good at all the same way there's one more thing uh, we see many people putting a pencil or a hairpin into their ears that is not right because if you put some foreign thing into your ears and poke inside the ear drum may burst and you will become deaf so it is very harmful if you put anything inside your ears and try to clean your ears other than a cotton bud but then also uh, you should take a help of a senior person in your house when you want to clear your clean your ears with a cotton bud flush the toilet after use now there are many people who go to the toilet and especially in uh, public places they just go to the toilet they use and they come off so it is dirty now when the next person goes they find a dirty toilet now that should not be done because when you are entering a toilet it is clean so naturally when you leave it also you have to leave it clean for the next person now wash your hands with soap and water after using the toilet now this is very important that once you go to the toilet and use it you have to wash your hands with soap and water so that you don't carry any germs with you outside or germs that may infect you yourself so it is very important to wash your hands so that you kill any germs that are present on your hands i'll stop here today and i want you to draw the picture of number 1 the girl brushing on page 155 a boy having a bath and a girl combing her hair you need to draw this picture this picture and this picture this picture this picture this picture now remember children please don't draw all three pictures on one page one picture one page i repeat one picture one page draw neatly and color thank you in the notebook and send it to the school whatsapp number write the name of the lesson keeping clean write the name of the lesson keeping clean and put the date on which you do your homework thank you children